Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick update to let you all know that we finally got the new van. Pickup day was on the 23rd of January, but our work started a little before that. We used Enterprise for a hire car. We got this SUV and I'm so glad I took some photos of the damage as that saved me a little bit of bother later on when we dropped the car off in Leeds. I've just got a mark on here, marks here. Quick shot of the mileage and petrol and then we had to get all of this gear into the boot of the car before we could set off to Leeds. This was the first of two pit stops on the way. All right, you get the butties out. Sausage and egg for me. This is Leon we're in. Sourdough muffin. Mm -hmm. So the plan is to drive straight to Consort and offload all of our gear at their place and then tomorrow morning we can pack it all into the van. Pit stop number two. Journey so far has been pretty good. This car is a nice car to drive. But we'll be glad when we're there I think. Carol's in now getting us something for lunch. Here comes Daisy May with the goodies. Ooh. Is it cold? Tell we're up north. Ooh, we're up north. Up north. Is it, do they have any food up north? Yes. What have you gone for? I've got a Tex-Mex sub. Subway. Subway and a cookie because it was cheaper to get a meal deal. Mm. Oh, yours looks tasty. It's got Doritos in it, look. Okay, I've got the crispy chicken wrap from KFC. We had a very smooth journey up to Consort and we made good time. And this is the first time we've seen their new premises, which they have greatly expanded since we were last here. The guys at Consort took us to drop off the hire car and then they brought us to the Clayton Hotel ready for the following day. Well, the room's all right, except it sounds like we're at the North Pole with a, a howling wind at the window. But Charlie Brown is making tea, so it can't be all that bad. Okay, what did you order? I'm having the fisherman's catch, which is a fillet of fish with sauteed new potatoes, green vegetables, and a creamy chive sauce. What are you having? I'm having, I've forgotten, chilli hot dog and chips. So you're ready for the van? Yeah, nothing more we can do now. We've packed all our stuff up and left it with them, so we just got to get ourselves over there. There's a back one, a back one. Oh, the other one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a very short ride to Consort, and all of a sudden, there we were, putting stuff into our new van. Ooh. Wipe your feet. <laughs> oh. mm. Good. Oh, smells so new. They did a great job with the conversion and the van was ready just when they said it would be. This is the new customer handover area which they're still kitting out after their move. Obviously this is a uh, typically what's called a bulkhead mounted regulator. Right. Whenever you pick up a new uh, van, you're going to get a very detailed handover from Dan. From the this is their customer services manager and uh, he's a good egg. He knows everything about these vans inside and out. Right. Um. Then you set about the mammoth task of moving in. Okay, that's one bag down. One bag down. Which bag would you like next? This bag is full of bits. So. Okay, well if you pack it all down, yeah, and then eventually we'll put it in the boot. The consort team offered to help us move in, but we preferred to do it ourselves so that we could really take our time. We had a very stormy drive to our campsite which we didn't bother to film because it was just a bit too dodgy. Anyway, by the time we got there, it was dark. 
Hello everyone, we have just arrived at the campsite and we are absolutely shattered. So we're not going to really be doing any filming and we'll pick you up tomorrow once we're beginning to sort the van out. Anything you want to say? We made it. We made it. We're very happy with the van, aren't we? Yeah, the van is lovely. It's beautiful and how easy was that? Just park up. Yeah. All the blinds are shut. Yeah. It's cosy. We've just got to sort out what we're going to have to eat now. We, yeah. we still had a lot of work to do and every now and then I did pick up the camera to show you a little bit of it. We're, like how are we going to do, I suppose clothes that we've worn can just go loose in the cupboards, can't they? It's just a peach bellini. I didn't want to go full alcoholic. It's only 4%. <laughs> As I'm so tired it probably goes straight to my head. Yeah. <sighs> Good. No mess. You see, you having a little glass then. Don't see any glasses we've got at the moment, have it? Not very elegant, but. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Happy new van. Happy new van. Mm. We were going to have a takeaway curry, but unfortunately, we've got no phone signal on this site. So we can't do that. <clears throat> when you use an oven for the first time, it can smell quite um, a lot, can't it? Oh, you don't mean the pizza? No, no. Oh, heats up quickly. Yeah, but it does. It doesn't set the smoke alarm off. Our first pizza in the oven, mm. Bunny. It looks very tasty and very hot. Good. So don't eat it all at once. Uh, uh, we're just going to eat it off our trays tonight and we'll get the table out another day. Funnily enough, our first trip out in Little Red was in a heavy storm and history is repeating itself tonight. The big difference, of course, though, is this time we can see the moon through the roof. It's lovely and cosy in this huge bed, but the wind is throwing the van around. We had a good night, but the winds are still a problem and I'm so glad I stayed away from the trees. How was your first night in the van then? Good. Yeah, I slept all right, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, except for the rocking well, and the storm. Except for the wind, but you can't blame that on the no, van. No, so, not at all. Yeah, and the bed was plenty long enough. Yeah, I thought so. Couldn't reach the end with my toes. No. Very cosy. What's the latest weather report? So, we've got a red area on the map of winds 50 miles an hour. Show us your red area, please. Oh dear. It's just passing over us now. Yeah, we're cosy warm now, aren't we? Yeah. This new heating system's a, yeah. a real treat, isn't it? Lovely, warm throughout the van. And then oh, quiet, nice. very quiet. I haven't heard the diesel heater no, at all. No, not at all, no. no. Brilliant. Let's put the water on for the dishes. Put water on. Dishes. Dishes, it's all done. I'll do. Charlie Brown's doing her first washing up in the new van. Gonna fix this up here. Yeah, when when we we get a little down. sucker hook that will grip the glass and then it'll be fine. Yeah. She's got a Miss Whiplash gloves on. Hot water. Hot water. You're loving this, aren't you, bunny? It's luxury. <laughs> Normally, I'm standing up, no, look, I'm not crouching like a hunchback. Normally you'd be sat on a, on a chair, wouldn't you? Everyone's going to love seeing you in a comfortable situation. Yeah. Little Red was fine, wasn't it? We, yeah, we it, loved it Little so Red. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. There's yeah. nothing wrong with Little Red. No. It's just a different way of doing things. Yeah. So this morning we have been packing all sorts of things away, moving them between cupboards and it's going to take us, I think, several trips before we actually decide on where we're going to put things. But it's the same old problem, whenever you're getting a new vehicle, 
you always have to bring extra stuff with you just to carry it all which of course now is is causing problems because we've not got anywhere really good to put it but by the next trip that will all be sorted how's the sausage bats going well. you've got more space than you know what to do with haven't you well, I can tell you the sausage baps were delicious. And so far, our van is performing perfectly. We'll be on the road in it for the next couple of weeks, testing everything, and then we'll see what happens next. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing us collect the van and the manic preparations we've just been through. And um, we're gonna sign off on this trip now, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so what's coming up is on Friday will be the last episode of our French trip and then after that there'll be two episodes of our last ever trip in the little yeah, red camper or a little red camper and then after that we'll pick up how we're getting on in the new van with the rest of this trip yeah we've still got little red but little red will be up for sale very very soon so we'll make a little video which will be a sort of a tour of Little Red and show yeah. you everything about it. And then uh, if anybody's interested, they can contact us. Yeah. And if we get no interest from the channel, then we'll we'll offer it for sale Sorry, through privately. other other yeah. means. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. See you soon.